Okay, in this video, I'm going to introduce Shaper 3D. Shaper is S-H-A-P-R, no E, 3D, and that's one word. Now, Shaper's less powerful than Fusion, but a lot easier to use, and way more powerful than Thinkercad. I think it's quite similar to Onshape, but it's far less laggy and less complicated. Um, the Mac version of this program is better than the PC version. I'm using the PC version. Now, with the, with the view cube, it's here. Um, I would suggest doing your uh, joystick holder if you're going to use Shaper uh, so that the side view is actually the front view. And so what we do, you can see straight away that I've only got four of these um, buttons. And I think if you're on a Mac, you've probably got about five or six. And that visualize one is the render one that I don't have. So we'll go straight to uh, the first thing before we sketch, actually, is we're just going to look here. Now, mine says meters, and if you're on a Mac and you've selected architecture, yours is going to say meters too. So for me, I'm just going to click that and go millimeters, and then I'm going to zoom in, okay? Um, then I'm going to press sketch, and we're going to do a rectangle again. You can see that hopefully yours doesn't say center. So if it does, just click that once, and before you start drawing the rectangle, click diagonal, and that's the, the way that we know how to do it. As soon as I click on 0, 0 or 0, 0, 0, you'll see that uh, my measurements come up. Now, I haven't clicked anything because you can see that these measurements are huge. So I believe it is 230. Then I press tab and I think it was 24. I might be wrong, it might be 30. Let's just type in 30 for now. OK, and I'm going to press enter and enter it and then uh, escape. So that is the base the joystick and I'm going to close that you can see that it's gone blue and all I need to do is I click that blue rectangle and I can drag that up or I can just type in 12 I press enter the first time that is the size and then enter the second time and that is that angle okay so what we've got is the base for the joystick holder now I'm pressing shift and middle mouse button in you'd probably be pressing shift and two fingers the next part is I'm going to draw that metal part so I press sketch, and before I start drawing, I'm just going to say, uh, tell the model where I want to sketch. So I select that, and you'll see that that starts to move, which is quite nice. And we'll draw a rectangle first. I'm just going to choose uh, any old point. I'm going to start there, and I know it's one mil thick, and we'll come up, and look at that, six mil. So I'm, I'm, I'm cutting five mil into the piece of wood. Okay, the next part is the arc. Um, if I'm following the normal design, I do. So I click for the first time, and then I'm going to click for the second time, and then I move that arc on for the third. We'll just do that for now. Now I can do that exactly again, or I can go offset. I'm going to do offset because it's slightly more complicated. So I click that arc, and I move that out one mil, and I press enter. Now you can see straight away that these lines aren't joined, okay, so, and these need to be joined. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and press delete. Then I'm going to get a line tool, or I'm going to get an arc tool, and I'm just going to join from there to there to try and make that look a bit neater. Okay, and now I'm going to zoom out, and I'm just going to do the line tool and join that up. One to two, and press um, enter or escape and that just takes that tagline so let's close that um, what we're going to do oh, a bit zoomed in. Um, I'm going to click this and I'm just going to move that around just to make sure that that is connected and you know it's connected because you'll see a chain don't click the chain because you'll disconnect it so there that's done now you don't see this is blue and <clears throat> I don't know if that's just me because I'm on a PC if it's not blue don't worry just need to press shift and just move into a 3D area. And as soon as we're on a 3D area, it goes blue. Now don't press the tools for this. I'm just going to select the groove and I'm going to push it all the way through and press enter and enter. So that's made that cut. The next part is I'm going to select this. Now this is the whole part and I'm going to push that through. Let's just do it. Oh, there you go, 30. Lucky I didn't type in 33. And press enter there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Very, very simple, very straightforward. 
and just to check that these are separate parts we can go and have a look at the layers and we can hide our sketches and we can even hide the body there or make that body disappear as well okay so the next part is to make that hole now we're going to do the same way that i normally do and that is we draw the joystick we put the joystick in place and subtract the joystick from the uh, the other bodies so sketch circle and this time i'm just going to draw here the dimension is two i press enter and i'm actually going to close that you can see that that is already blue so just click the blue area and i think we'll type in 220 and that should have made my joystick now some people are quite clever and they make the joystick two different sizes so why don't we do that go for that press sketch select where i want to draw the sketch press circle go there and just come out a little bit more okay and once i've done i can press code close again you can notice that mine's not blue however if i just go to 3d then it makes it blue now if i select that and drag it all the way down to as far as i need it to go have a look at that view that looks about right and press enter you'll see that that is actually not connected so if i double click you can see that's collect, uh, selecting the entire body and if i double click and they're separate bodies and we don't really want that because that makes life confusing i'm going to join these so we go to tools and we're going to go union and i want to join this one and this one and done okay now that is one entire body now check this out for ease if i select the side it knows exactly what i want to do if i pull it out it's going to make it round if I push it in it's going to make it sharp and in this case of course we are making it round so let's just press enter and we are done so we're going to zoom out quickly and now i'm going to move it into place move it into place very very easy double click it and you already get the arrows if i push this little button here that is the copy button so if i wanted to um, copy it i would just press that and then move the copy away let's move that like this and we'll start moving that like that now if you move the middle part that does not move the object that simply moves the uh, point of reference so the pivotal point let's just have a look at this side make sure it's in the middle um, yep yeah, that's in the middle and enter when i'm happy with it so that's all in place but some of you are already knowing well hang on you haven't put a hole in this metal and you haven't got a hole in that wood so what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools we're going to go to subtract and i'm going to subtract from with so that's and that and then done now i'm selecting all the originals there are lots of different uh, ways the removed bodies are the parts that we're cutting out however i'm not completely sure because it's still quite new so i'm just going to go done and do it again so we go tools and subtract where we're we subtracting from this one and that one and we're going to go done okay so now if i just hide that um joystick you'll see that well, hang on you haven't actually made the hole i have but i've kept the hole so that's the hole there so i'm actually going to delete that and this one here that's not the hole that's the hole there so i'm going to delete that and now i've got the modified parts and i've also got the joystick okay the next part is let's make that groove so i think you already know what to do we're going to press sketch we're going to select the face we want to draw the sketch on. We're going to go to um, rectangle. Now, if we go diagonal, we've got a lot of measuring to do. So why don't we just go to center point? And we know that that is the center line. There's that little guideline there. So how about we just click there, come out, and stop there. Okay, I'm going to press close. Now you can see that that is blue, and I'm just going to drag that down so that is minus and now if we do minus three it means i need to do less work when i'm actually making it 
press enter enter so there's the groove for the ash okay some of you already know what i'm going to do well i'm going to select that little edge there i'm going to press shift i'm going to select that and that move it across still pressing shift let's say i press the wrong thing don't worry press it again to deselect it select that 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 and that last one there now watch i pull it out it's going to go around don't worry it's going to tell you that you can't do it can't fix don't worry i'm going to go here and of course if i pushed it that way it would be square well that's going to be impossible to make so we'll just do that and press enter and enter and that is it that is the complete model done i'm just going to hide that sketch because that is bothering me and i'm going to hide that sketch that i can see there okay and let's put that dos stick back in which was there so the next part is to get that visualizing done and for you that's really nice and easy for me i can't do it on here you click the button that says visualize it will give you loads of materials and of course you just drag those materials so that's aluminium polished if you want it and that gives you the visualization part which you can then export as a jpg i believe for this one we're now going to do the drawings and what we'll do is we'll go to add i'm going to add a drawing to it so click drawing select the things you want to be represented i'm going to go here and i'm going to choose one to three because i think that's a better we could probably go one to two i'll stick with let's, let's be brave we'll go to one to two okay and look how fast that was so the top view is underneath the side view which is crazy but that is called a first angle projection and we're used to doing third angle projections unfortunately i cannot find a way to change that so it's okay as long as it says first angle projection we understand if you wanted to you could double click and move it above but then you're going to have to say it's a third angle projection so i wouldn't even bother let's just press escape let me show you how to do dimensions for dimensions very very simple line length select the line select the line move that select the line up oh, look at that it's so easy okay well what about this crazy arc area well with the arc we can actually go radius we can select the line there and drag it out done and what if we wanted to do point to point what if i wanted well how deep is that we can go point to point click the point go there and there Sorry, go there and shift there i'm just going to move that into the page and done okay well some people are realizing well hang on we can't see any of the details here so one of the things we can do is we can take a side view to do that we're going to close view section and this time i'm going to drag it up and see if that works and i'm just going to press enter and deselect it then double click it and drag it down now that makes a lot more sense okay well now we can see the depth of the hole and let's have a look at doing angles so close that let's go dimensions angles are line to line angle now sometimes it's difficult to do in fusion let's see how easy this is so shift select for that second line and that was much easier wasn't it and of course now we can even do the radius of that curve there which is r3 and of course we can do the depth so we can do from point to line or we can do from line to line so let's do line to line so from that line remember shift and that line and that goes there so that's pretty good in fact you can actually move that down so there's lots and lots of things that you can do um, you can also visualize remember i can't do that we can add details, we can do diameters, diameter of the hole, position of the hole, everything there. Very, very quick, as you have just witnessed on how I do that. Okay, so I am going to leave you there with that. And of course, you can always export to PDFs.